بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ویٹنری اسٹڈیز یوٹیوب چینل دس از اے سیریز آف لیکچرس آن ویٹنری ان آٹومی ان اوور لاسٹ لیکچر آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ اسکیلیٹل سسٹم ان اسکیلیٹل سسٹم آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا بونس وچ آر انکلوڈیڈ ان ایکزیل اسکیلیٹن اینڈ اپینڈیکولر اسکیلیٹن ٹوڈے از اوور ٹاپک از آرتھرولوجی ان ٹوڈے از ٹاپک I am going to tell you about joint and what are the joints in animal body and what are the basic structures and components of a joint. So this is all I am going to discuss in this lecture. Let's start. Now what is arthrology? Arthrology is the scientific study of the joints and their relation in the body of animal. Joint. Joint is also known as articulation. It is the union of the two or more bones or cartilage by the fibrous tissue or cartilage or mixture of fibrous tissue and cartilage. Joint can be between bones, between bones and cartilage and between cartilages. This is the typical picture of a joint and In this picture there are some joints like in axial skeleton there is a joint between each vertebrae which is known as intervertebral joint in appendicular skeleton in a forelimb this one is the shoulder joint this one is the elbow joint and this one is the carpus joint whereas in hind limb this one is the hip joint and this one is the knee joint this is the skeleton of a cattle In our last lecture I have discussed about skeleton and I have told you that skeleton is divided into axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. Axial skeleton includes the bones of the skull, vertebral column, ribs and sternum whereas appendicular skeleton includes the bones of a forelimb and hindlimb. Now joints in an animal body are in axial skeleton this one is the atlas joint between base of the skull and first cervical vertebrae of the vertebral column there is also a joint between these vertebrae called intervertebral joint and there is a joint between vertebral column and ribs called postervertebral joint in appendicular skeleton in forelimb this one is the shoulder joint between scapula and humerus this one is the elbow joint between humerus and radius ulna bone this one is the carpal joint between small carpal bones this one is the fetlock joint between metacarpus and first phalanx bone this one is the piston joint between first and second phalanx and The last one is coffin joint between second and third phalanx bone. In hind limb this one is the hip joint between os coxae and femur bone. This one is the stifle joint between femur and tibia fibula bone. This one is the patellar joint between femur and patella bone. This one is the tarsal joint between small tarsal bones. Similarly This one is the fetlock joint and this one is the piston joint and this one is the coffin joint. Now, structures of joint. This is the typical picture of a joint. These are the components or structures of a joint. First one is the joint surfaces. Joint surfaces are the ending points of a bones. Second one is articular cartilage in a white color. This one is the joint capsule. Joint capsule is the sac which is formed by the surrounding of the layers. There are two layers which surround the joint capsule. Inner membrane is synovial membrane whereas outer membrane is fibrous layer. The space in the joint capsule is known as joint cavity and the fluid in the joint cavity or joint capsule is known as synovial fluid these are the ligaments which connects two bones articular disc marginal cartilage 
blood vessels and nerves are not in this picture articular disc or menisci is the fibrous tissue which is placed between these articular cartilages marginal cartilages marginal cartilages is the ring of the fibrous cartilage which encircle the rim of the articular surface of the bone blood vessels are used for the blood supply and nerves are used for the nerve endings in the joint now i am going to discuss each of these components separately joint surfaces joint surfaces are the ending points of the bones which forms joint these are the points which are smooth white tissue that covers the end of the bone and come together to form joint i have given an example of the distal end or the surface of the femur and proximal end of the tibia bone in green color this is the tibio femoral surfaces and in red color patello femoral surface another example is shoulder joint this is the surface of the glenoid cavity of the scapula bone and this is the joint surface of the humerus bone articular cartilage it is the hyaline type of a cartilage which covers the articular surfaces of the bones the function of the articular cartilage is to absorb shock while mechanical work or locomotion the thickness of the articular cartilage varies in the joint it is thin in the center of the concave surfaces of the articular cartilage and thick in the center of the convex one articular cartilage can be divided into zones if we take the section of the articular cartilage and examine under the microscope we will find these zones like superficial zone intermediate zone radial zone calcified zone beneath this zone there is a subchondral bone plate that includes the part of the joint cartilage or articular cartilage as well as the layer of a lamellary bone this is the section of the articular cartilage which we can see under the microscope if we see this zone these zones form the attachment or link between the articular cartilage and bone this one is the superficial zone this zone comprises of tightly woven collagen fiber near to the joint surface this one is the intermediate zone or transitional zone this one is the middle layer which is structurally homogeneous third one is radial zone in this zone cartilaginous fiber partly united to form a radially organized bundle fourth one is calcified zone or calcified cartilage in this zone collagen fiber anchor the articular cartilage to the bone for the most part of the calcified tissue these four zones are part of the articular cartilage beneath the articular cartilage there is a subchondral bone plate that includes part of the articular cartilage as well as lamellary bone if we see the section of the articular cartilage this part is non calcified which means it is flexible in nature whereas this part is calcified cartilage which can be hard in nature joint capsule joint capsule is the sac which is formed by the surrounding of the layers joint capsule is surrounded by two layers outer fibrous layer the thickness and development of the outer fibrous layer varies greatly and it is mainly determined by the mechanical load placed on that area and the inner synovial membrane inner synovial membrane is further divided into inner synovioside layer and subsynovial layer in inner synovioside layer it contain cells called synovioside there are two types of uh, synovioides in inner synovioside layer synovioside a which are phagocytic in nature synovioside b which produce and secrete proteins whereas subsynovial layer consists of tissue these inner synovial membrane line the joint cavity and this layer also contain blood vessels nerves synovial villi and synovial folds 
these synovial villi and folds may also differ greatly in the number size form and location this is another picture of a joint the ending points of the bones are known as joint surfaces this one is the articular cartilage this is the joint capsule and this one is the subchondral bone plate in joint capsule there is a fluid called synovial fluid and this is the invagination of the joint capsule called joint capsule diverticulum these are the ligaments which connect bone to bone to form a joint this one is the proximal sesamoid ligament this one is the distal sesamoid ligament this one is the sesamoid bone and these small finger like projections in the joint capsules are synovial villi these are the microscopic pictures of a synovial villi and these are the electron microscopic pictures of a synovial villi in this picture synovial villi are free floating in the synovia and in this picture synovial villi within the joint cavity with injected capillaries in a red colors in these pictures two types of a synovial villi are shown this one is the filiform synovial villus and this one is the foliate synovial villus this is the area without villus in the joint capsule synovial fluid it is a pale yellow viscous fluid found inside the joint capsule synovial fluid act as a oil in the joint and the function of the synovial fluid is to lubricate the joint synovial fluid is secreted by the synovial membrane of the joint synovial fluid contains hyaluronic acid sugar electrolytes and enzymes there is also a condition in which there is an increase in the synovial fluid in the joint due to overproduction of the synovia and it is called hydroarthrosis ligament ligament is the band of a tough flexible fibrous connective tissue which connects two bones or cartilage and hold together to form joint ligaments also support to your joint and it also limit the movement of your joint this is the picture of a stifle joint and there are example of some ligaments like this one is the anterior crocoid ligament this one is the posterior crocoid ligament this one is the medial collateral ligament and this one is the lateral collateral ligament these are the menisci this one is the medial menisca and this one is the lateral menisca in opposite to ligament there is a tendon tendon is the flexible but inelastic cord of a fibrous tissue that attach muscle to bones we will study tendons in myology articular disc or meniscus meniscus means crescent articular disc is a thin crescent shape oval plate of the fibrocartilage present in several joints the function of articular disc is to separate synovial cavities like in this picture this one is the medial meniscus and this one is the lateral meniscus blood vessels and nerves basically blood vessels are for the blood supply and nerves for the nerve ending in the joints in joints blood is supplied by the articular arteries which are arises from the large arteries in the joints articular arteries are located within the joint capsule mostly in the synovial membrane as we have discussed earlier blood vessels are in the synovial membrane the blood supply to the synovial joints comes from the arteries sharing in anastomosis around the joint anastomosis means cross connection in the arteries whereas vein forms plexus around the joint and get back blood toward the heart via large vein nerves nerves are supplied by the branches of the large nerves like in the knee joint nerves are supplied by the branches of the femoral sciatic and obturator nerves nerve fibers are numerous around the synovial membrane as a special nerve ending as a pacinian bodies this is all about today's lecture
If you like this video, press like button. If you want a latest update regarding my YouTube channel, press bell icon. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.